Hi, I'm Maggie from Maggie's Crochet Needlework and Crafts and in this video I'm going to show you how to do a single loop loop stitch. And there is a double loop. Um, an example of that is this little um, Santa from the Holiday Booty Buddies which is pattern number PA983 that's available at maggiescrochet.com. And in this little um, Santa pattern, the loops around here is a single loop stitch. And then the ones on the beard is a double loop stitch. And the way you can tell is that it's very um, full here. And here you can see that there's one loop for every stitch um, going around. So in this video, I'm going to show you the single loop stitch. And in another video, I'll show you the double loop stitch. And um, I'll be showing you in rows and I'll do other videos showing you how to do it in circles. So I just practiced up on this stitch and it, um, row, you typically do this in single crochet rows but um, it could be different. Uh, you could do this on top of any um, row of stitches. It could be higher stitches, you know, like taller ones. So I just did a little row of single crochets the loops are always done on the on one side. So one side you'll be coming back maybe with single crochets and then the next one you'll be doing loops. So in this I just chained, this was just for practice, so I have two, four, six, eight, nine. So I chained ten and then I did a single crochet in the second chain from hook and then I single crocheted across. So now I'm ready to show you the single um, loop stitch. Here I'm going to chain one turn and then when I go, I'm using a very big hook for this um, yarn. This is worsted weight yarn that I'm using and I'm actually using a size L um, hook. I wanted to use, this is the Dreams hook that's available at maggiescrochet.com and these are amazing to work with. And one of the main reasons is that they have a really deep um, curve into the head of the hook and that holds your loops on your hook like crazy. That works really really good. So when you do this stitch, this is how I hold my yarn. I don't know how you would do this stitch with um, you know different ways of holding the yarn, but you insert your hook here just like this into the first single crochet and normally you would wrap like this. Well in this case you're going to wrap like this and you just move over here and wrap that one too and bring those two in. So normally you're wrapping like this, you bring it in. But this time you're going to wrap this way and go over here and get this one and bring that through. And before you lock this in, you can adjust this and make it longer or shorter, however you want to do it. If you want to make it shorter, you just pull this here. If you want to make it longer, you just pull this here and adjust it. So I'm going to make mine just like they were kind of short here on this one. And you can see the loop on the other side right here. And then you finish the single crochet and it's going to look more like a half double crochet because you're going to go draw through three loops on hook instead of two. So then you just finish the single crochet like that. And then you try another one. So you're going to go in here. I'm going underneath the top two loops of the single crochet stitch and instead of wrapping like this, I'm going to wrap like this and I'm just going to move over here and grab the other one. So I'm bringing both of those strands through the single crochet stitch and then I'm dropping the loop off my finger back here and I'm going to yarn over from the back like I normally do and I'm going to draw through all three loops like that and now you see I have two loops. Once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad. Okay, so then I'm going in here. I'm wrapping this in the front. I'm going over here and getting this loop here. And I'm bringing that both strands through here. And then I'm getting my finger out of the way. And I'm going to yarn over this way now from this side over. 
and I'm going to draw through all three loops. Now I have three loops in the back. So then the next one, I'm going to go underneath those two loops. I'm going to move my hook like this. I'm going to wrap it from this side over the front. Then I'm going to go get the strand over here underneath my finger and then I'm going to pull both of those strands through the single crochet that I'm working in. I'm going to get this off my finger. I'm going to yarn over here and I'm going to draw through all three loops on my hook. It makes like really um, full single crochet stitches. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to wrap this in the front and I'm going to grab this over here. I'm going to bring both through and I'm going to let that one go. I'm going to yarn over and draw through all three. So now you see I have five loops on the other side. And then I'm going to go here, move my hook in the back of this and have this go across the front and then just reach over here and pull that through, move my finger out of the way, yarn over and draw through all three. Okay, now I'm going to go in here. I'm going to bring the yarn in front of my hook like that and I'm just going to reach over there and grab the other side and bring that through like that and drop the hook, yarn over and bring that through all three. And then I'm going to do the next one, same way. And then the last one, like that. Okay, now I've done one row of loops. So see all the loops right there? See? They're so cute. So then, now you work the um, just single back so the loop rows are worked when you're on the wrong side but they that's so that they show on the right side so I did my single crochet row across the top of those singles that made the loop stitches. So I just chain one turn and start the same thing all over again. So it just alternates rows. You'll have rows of loops and then rows of just plain single crochet. But let me um, put the second row on for you of loops so you can start to see how they look on the other side. So I'm just moving this in front grabbing the other side if I can get it like that this hook is so wonderful to work with it's real light and that head of that thing just grabs all those loops and brings them through they don't slip off slips off my hand but it doesn't slip off my hook. Okay. It's going to be a surprise when I turn it over. Okay. So now I've completed my second row of loops and look at that. See? But it's kind of thin and you can see the difference between the thin and then the thick right here. That's really thick. So in this case, um, there were two loops brought together at one time. So that'll be in another video. But that's how you do the single loop stitch and crochet. And at maggiescrochet.com, there are several projects that use the loop stitch. There's um, this one, the Booty Buddies, which is pattern number PA983. And then there's the Giraffe, Afghan, and Pillow and Toy Set, and that's PA965. And then there's um, pattern number PA206, and that's the Santa Hat Toilet Paper Cover. And then there's a pattern called Loop Stitch Rugs, and that's pattern number PB005. So there will be links to this posted underneath the YouTube videos. And I want to thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you subscribe to the channel. 
and visit me on Facebook, which is Maggie's Crochet, and our website is maggiescrochet.com. Thank you very much for watching.